Hi kids. Okay, so today I'm going to go over how to do a triceratops similar to this. I'm going to start using plain paper. I'm using basic computer paper. A pencil that has enough of a sharp point that I can use the side of it to do my sketch. It's very easy to erase um, the side of the pencil because it doesn't make heavy indentations and actually speaking of that paper has indentations on it so I'll tuck it in here I'm using an eraser and some form of thin um, permanent marker that's not really a sharpie but it is the same kind of thing I cannot see what my screen sees while I'm videoing. So sometimes the paper goes off a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that it's on. Here's the one edge. Yes, I see that. I see that, I see that. Okay, should be on. All right, so to start the Triceratops, I'm gonna start with the basic body shape and where the ground will be. So if you think of it as an oval shape for its body, that is fine, but it has a little kind of up, upward cut here underneath. So it's kind of more like a bean shape. Now notice, I'm making a whole bunch of these. I'm nice and light with the side of my pencil. I'm not committing to any of them, and I can easily erase and make changes. Then, not too far down, I'm going to make the line for my ground straight across. You don't want it too far down because if it is too far down, the legs will be too long and then it won't look like a triceratops. They're kind of stocky with thick legs. Now, I'm going to add the tail here and the tail should kind of rest on the ground. They might have held their tail up. What do I know? But I'm going to put that on the ground. And then I'm going to do a shape here where it's going to curve around here and then up. So what this kind of swoosh shape is, is the middle of the frill down the forehead. And this is the front of the beak. So now we have the placement of our triceratops. We have the tail, the body, and where the front of the head is going to be. Okay, good. Now, let's add another line here. So this is the front of the beak. So this one's going to start underneath a little bit, like kind of tucked up under. I hope you can see this okay. I really do. And then down a little, this is going to be kind of like the jaw and then we're going to bring this through and up to here that's going to be the front horn and that one's going to be the back horn we'll add a shape here this is going to be where the front uh, top leg muscle sits and then this one here the back top leg muscle is going to be there Okay, now let's develop the frill and the horns a little bit. We know it has a horn here on its nose. This one faces the other way. So these two kind of face forward and down. This one faces forward and up. So let's add a little bit to them. And then we'll just kind of make a shape here to sort of represent where the rest of the frill is going to go. The eye is going to go in here. And then there's a leg, there's a part of the leg here that's not this top muscle and it's not the foot. So this is going to kind of face forward here and this one kind of faces back. Picture this as like the elbow pointing this way and this as the knee pointing this way. They don't touch the ground yet because the feet will touch the ground. Okay, now let's make the rest of this face, this front of the beak, 
the top of the beak is going to kind of come across here. There's a cute little thing. And then we're going to add an area for where the back, the further back front leg is going to go, where the, the foreground front foot is going to go, where the you know, foreground closer to us back leg is going to go, and the further away back leg is going to go. And they have a little, a little nose, little nostril -y thing there. Okay, now this is going to connect to the body. This is going to become an eye. And now I'm going to go over lines that I want to keep with the um, thin marker. And this will hopefully kind of clarify what some of these lines are so that you can see them. Now, if I've gone too fast, pause, get your, you know, your framework built. Once again, light in pencil so that it's easiest to erase. And then you can kind of follow along with me when you're ready. So for starters, this is the front horn. Now is when I can kind of make my final choices about my lines, their length, their direction, right? If I'm adding any details to them, this is all the line quality part. This is the, um, the horn closest to us. And so because this is the closest to us and this one's further away, this forehead is gonna touch this one, but go right through that one because it's further away. So now we have this one back here. And then the frill. And the line around the edge of this, as I'm sure everybody knows, is wavy. All the way around to here and then here. I am going to erase this line. It was just to sort of place this properly. Let's put in the beaky shape thing here. The bottom jaw. And that is going to connect to the body. Let's do the eye. I don't think we really know what these eyes looked like. I'm not sure if we know that or not. And the little nose hole. If it looks like I gave it lashes, I apologize. I didn't. I just tried to give it um, edges. Okay, now let's put the back line in down to the tail. So we're going to come from here. Now is my chance. I'm going to lift this line up a little bit. I think the back would be more up here. So I'm going to pull this up here, bring it across here, and then down into the tail. Now, this leg is in front and this leg is behind. So this line is going to come up and touch and stop at the foreground leg. So we're going to bring it over to here and then stop. Now, this leg has this big muscle here. And these legs are like really thick and strong. Because this thing, it just weighed a lot. Let's put this muscle here. Here's its like kind of knee leg, and then the rest of that little foot. This has to touch here, so now that I know where that is, I can make that there, and now this back leg can be put behind it. And actually, I don't think you'd see any of the rest of that, so I'm going to leave it. 
Now, imagine this line comes all the way through here. It doesn't go in front of it, it goes behind. So just picture it running behind and then it comes out here. You have that little uptick for its belly and then it's gonna stop there because this leg is in front of it. So we've got this muscle, its elbow shape, its little leg, In my mind, these things are really cute, and I realize that in reality, they probably were, um, I guess dangerous is a good word, but at least not interested in a snuggle. Let's put it that way. And then this background leg can be right here, and now that's there. So now I have most of the lines that I'm going to want to keep in place, and obviously I can develop this a little bit. Like I can give a couple cross contour lines around the horn to show that it's rounded. I can give some extra like kind of skin detail to show that it's kind of rough. I can give a little bit of shading like hatching or cross hatching to show what is in shadow. And I can give a little bit of detail towards the ground to just give it ground texture. Okay, I hope this helps a little bit. I am going to erase my pencil lines and develop my drawing however I see fit. All right, young artists, enjoy.